Coming up here on ESPN, lots of programs to look forward to. Uh, international football will feature the England and 21 team in their match against Israel. 6.30 start tomorrow. On Thursday from 5.30, it's the full story of this year's Winmore Masters Darts Championship. A weekend in Hull will be told in a few hours. If we fast forward a few months, the BDO Lakeside World Dart Championship will be live here on ESPN. And when things wrap up tonight at the Hull Ice Arena in the Masters, it's top 14 rugby union, Leon versus Toulouse. That's scheduled for 11 o'clock tonight. Victory in the first quarter final of this year's Masters went to defending champion Martin Adams. 14th straight Masters win. He needs two more for another title. Fourth on the bounce. Uh, Martin, congratulations. It's the start of a, a long day for you, you hope. How do you feel you played? Uh, I, I had some shaky moments, I think. Mm. You, know, uh, uh, you know, thinking about it, maybe I was a little bit too tense up there. Um, expecting uh, big scores from Glenn, which won't come in. Uh, you know, there, there were some some good darts from Glenn, obviously, mm. but uh, I wasn't responding. There was some shaky stuff around the finishing as well. But I mean, you know, that's the first one out of the way. I, I won it, and Glenn's a great dart player, and he's putting a great account of himself this weekend. So mm. you know, I've got some some room to improve. And don't forget, people were discussing that you'd met before in the Masters in 2005, and he'd had a dart to beat you. You couldn't quite remember it. Uh, you'll remember him now. He's a player for the future, making a name for himself. Absolutely. I mean, when I bumped into him this morning up in the uh, in the practice room, yeah, I straight away could remember his face. And, uh, <laughs> I was saying, Glenn, where have you been the last few years? Where have you been hiding, so, You know, <laughs> but he's a great player. Now, when you mentioned tension there. You're trying to break history today. You've got a long way to go. So is that going to start playing in your mind as the day goes on? No, I don't think about that part of it when, uh, when I'm playing. But, uh, yeah, you want to win every game, and every game is, is going to be hard. Mm. You know, when you get down to the quarterfinals of any event, they're all hard games. Mm. And there's, there's no mugs left in this now. They're all great players. OK, let's take a look at the draw and see where we've got lined up for the rest of today. It's the quarterfinals, it's the semi-final and the final. We've seen the Martin has gone through, beating Glenn by three sets to one. Uh, coming up next, it's Gary Robson and Scott Waits. Then it's Demon Stanley against Tony West. And then it's Ross Montgomery against Stephen Bunting. Um, so, Martin, you're going to play the winner of this next match, Robbo or, or Scott Waits. Uh, how do you see this going? Or, as usual, the, the calibre of both players just a little bit too difficult to call? Well, it really is a tough one to call. Um, they're, they're both in form at the moment. Um, Scott, as, as a lot of the players will know, has uh, not, at, you know, the middle of the year might, maybe not been, been his best, mm -hmm. but he's got his form together. And Scott is playing great, which we saw yesterday. I mean, absolutely brilliant finishing yesterday from Scott. 170, 160. Absolutely. You know, just missed out on that 124 on the ball as well. But Gary, Gary's been looking after himself. He's been, uh, you know, concentrating on what he's doing. As he said yesterday, he's been doing this hypnotherapy stuff, mm. and that's work, starting to work for him. So this has got the makings of one hell of a game. And Martin Adams plays the winner. Here we go. Martin Fitzmorris is about to introduce the players.
season second quarter final about to get going in the commentary box david croft and tony o'shea thanks ever so much indeed ray scott waits absolutely on fire when it came to big checkouts in the previous round you and his lot unlucky to lose by three sets to nil can he be too hotty again i wonder the man from halifax the number four seed up against uh, Gary Robson, the mercurial Tony O'Shea, Gary Robson, who's never quite sure which one's going to turn up. Yeah, the uh, the dart version turned up yesterday, uh, wasn't quite firing, but uh, I spoke to him early on, he's really confident today, he thinks he's got his bad game out of the way for the rest of the weekend, he's uh, really fired up for this one. He put the right hypnotherapy CD into the player, is he, this one? Yeah, he put a brass one in last <laughs> night, I think. <laughs> he's having hypnotherapy to improve his darts game how focused is robbo today i wonder thank you ladies and gentlemen first set first leg it's got to throw first game on the grand slammer darts champion then getting us underway in this best of five set quarter final 60. unlike at the world championships only three legs per set 97 Scott Waits, who has won a tournament since the Grand Slam, the Swedish Open, a couple of weeks ago. Cracking final, Tony O'Shea, that he won 6-4. Uh, he was quite lucky to win that 6-4, really. Uh, have I upset you recently? You keep mentioning about people beating you in finals. All right, I'll redeem myself then. Gary Robson got to the quarterfinals of the Swedish Open, was uh, was very unlucky to lose to a, to a mightily impressive Tony O'Shea in that match. That last one that I won. Thank you, mate. Thank you. Yeah, uh, again there at the Swedish Open, Scotty finishing uh, was second to none. When he, when he finishes like that, he takes some beating, Scotty. Because it's been 83. an Achilles heel to his game, hasn't it, at, at times, where he's hit the big scores and then has, has wobbled around his doubles. 177. That's the typical Scott Waite's leg, powerful scoring. Now can he take this out to give us a 13 dart leg, I wonder. Scott, you require 24. To find out, double 12. 12. He'll not be too worried, it's first leg, he has actually got a big lead, so he won't be too upset with that, to be honest. Sally's looking a bit concerned already, though. 100. Scott, you require 12. These are the key ones. Can he now get it under a touch of pressure? Double three. Game well, shot. Well, he did, and eventually. The leg. Scott waits. But it's on the board, nonetheless. Second leg, it's Gary to throw first. Game on. Gary had written that leg off probably six darts before that, that finish then. 140. And he's often flying the start of his leg. Aiming Gary Robson for his first ever Masters semi-final up to the quarter-finals back in 2005 where he lost 3-0 to a man called Goran Klemmer from Sweden went on to finish his runner-up to the uh, sausage sizzler I think that was his nickname from Sweden the sausage maker wasn't he 136 95. I think if these two get going, we could have a good old banger on the stage today. There's some big scores traded. 95. It was a nice tidy up, that uh, five there, to leave the 170. And he's already got a stake in the highest checkout of the week. Does, does he get a, a two-part share if he takes this one out? We shall never know. 134. Gary, you're at 83. Gary will travel 17, double 16 now to equalise. It's a good marker though, he's moved across. Perfect. Game shot and the second leg. Gary Robson. Third leg. He's going with throw, it's, throw it's quite a good start. They both settled on. pretty quickly, to be honest. Yeah, you know, Waits bought himself a bit more time in the first leg. 58. 
but uh, only 58. And already Gary Robson into the lead in this leg, but not by 100. much now. Feeling missed a little chance there because uh, Scott is straight back into it. One hundred. Heavy scoring like he has done all weekend. But Gary can rise above it. The first 180 of the match. See, now he has got an advantage here, Tony. The uh, the steel could be on here. One hundred. He'd like a few more, but still a good finish. One twenty-one. And he's going to get 40. six darts from it as well. Gary, you require 121. Robson for a 1-2-1. One, one. We're going treble 17, I think. No, he's setting it up, actually. 89. And he'd made his mind up before he got to the uh, the hockey there. Yeah, he fancies that 32. He hit it with his second doubt, the last throw. up. Must fancy it. Playing percentages. 100. Could cost him, Gary, but... you require 32. Oh, didn't know, did it? He loves it when a plan comes together, there's big rubber. Oh yes, like the A-team, the man from G-Force has got the first set, set now first on the board. Gary to throw first, game on. He's actually throwing with uh, a different set of darts from yesterday today, Gary. Why has he changed? He had two sets in his case and uh, the ones he played with yesterday, he has been playing 96. with them for a, a couple of tournaments, two or three tournaments. But these are the newer ones, and he thought he needed a little bit more grip, whether it was nerves or what yesterday, but um, it seems to be working already today. Well, he beat Andrew Gilding, didn't he? 3 1 yesterday, and it wasn't the best of performances. Against Goldfinger there. Hands working out for him so far. And there, the shiny new darts. It's not another one that someone's borrowed from you, is it, Tony? People beating me. We borrowed. Well, they're not even borrowed. I give them as presents, and they keep beating me with them. Alan Norris was one. Stuart Kellett was one. There's probably two or three more out there who beat me with me on das. One. You're too generous. That's your problem. Glenn was another one. Just uh, lost to Martin. Mm. Excuse me. Yeah, I should do some sort of uh, percentage deal with these players. Yes, you beat me <laughs> with my darts, I want 10%. <laughs> <laughs> One hundred. Well, Scotty's got an opportunity here. It's a bully in the crowd. 96. Eighty, Scott, you require 114. So to hit right back after op losing that opening set. Did a treble 18, 38 scored. That was pretty uh, clumsy that last start from Rob. Although he's left 99, down. which is a horrible shot. He'll be looking for 10. Double six because he hit the treble. Oh, unlucky. 87. Scott, you require yeah, whatever you do 56. on 99, you're going to have to use all three darts. That's exactly. why it's so horrible. 38. Those missed doubles from weights Gary, that I was talking about, 12. that they're creeping in. But will he be made to pay? No, he won't. Robbo, I Ten. assume, is now... Scott, you require 18. Oh, I thought he would have busted it, but he's, he's left himself double one. Game well, right shot. on the wire. Great the marker there. from Scott Waits. He does Scott Waits. break straight back. It's not plain sailing by any means for the number four seed. Second leg, it's Scott to throw first. Game on. Eighty-two. A 
81. Having beaten Tony, both of these players this year, because you beat Scott Waits at the Dutch Open, I think, in the last 16, isn't you? What, what, what's the key? What, what do you need to do against either Scott Waits or, uh, or Gary Robson, other than the obvious of, uh, of hit the doubles? Obviously, in the, in the big tournaments like the Dutch Open, we've been playing all day, so we're, we're pretty warmed up. Uh, that goes for everybody, of course. Today's game is the first game, and, and you can still see them nerves there. So it is literally the first game of the day. When, we, when us guys normally meet, we've normally had five, six games under his belt, and they're usually good games. 43. Is either of these two more nervous than the other? Because we've seen them both sort of falter, haven't we, at times in, in big matches. I suppose that, that could go for all of us, to be honest, Dave. This is a biggie though, like I say, Robbo's first crack at the semi-final. But he has been there, like we say, he's won the World Trophy, that's uh, one of the big majors in the video. 60. Scott 2005 he won that, beat Mervyn King, we've been waiting for kind of a similar week ever since, haven't we? He's selling in a, a major tournament. One hundred and thirteen. This is uh, a set where one hundred and forty. Far from Scott establishing his authority, Gary Robson has gone to sleep a little Game bit, and he's been made to pay. And Scott Waits has stepped Scott in Waits. and levelled it all up again. And he's not really had to work out for that set, to be honest. Third set. First leg, it's Scott to throw first. Game on. We'll start again now. One each, three to go. One hundred. It's a missed opportunity, isn't it, from Gary Robson, that. Once you've got that early bonus... One hundred and forty. You're, you're looking to take control. Breaking that first set, I mean, uh, he should really kicked on, and he started off well early. 123. Good score, I think it was a one four of the opening shot, but never followed it up. Not through lack of trying, it just, sometimes they just won't go. 45. Just like that. And he's very expressive though, isn't he? You, you, he's like a, a Janet and John book, he's easy to read. Not shy, like you say. <laughs> you get what you say, that's it. Gary is throwing the dart. Gary is not chuffed. Gary is happier now. Gary is delighted. I think that's how the Janet and John book goes. <laughs> 100. Well, again, a good score here and a chance of a break again. He's got the first one. I think he'll stay up there. Nice 140, you're doing good here. 140. Scott, you require 120. Shanghai, though, for Scott Waits. And that's lovely for the double top. Oh. 100. He's, he's not missing Gary these doubles by much, 42. to his credit here, but eh, there's a few creeping in. Double 16 for Robbo. There you Game go. Shot. And the first leg. He's taking it. Been between that double 16. Second leg, it's Gary to throw first. Game on. So, Robson breaks back after Scott had broken him. 100. I suppose it's the, the nip and tuck match, this, that you would expect from a number four seed, Scott Waits, against the number five seed, Gary Robson. Sixty. Sixty. Eighty. That saved him. Trouble nineteen with his last dart. However, 108. 
<laughs> However, yeah. could have fit another six, seven in there easily. And as is often the case, a ton 80 is met with a very good response. And they both take each other to new heights. Trouble 19 for Waits. Oh dear. 99. Gary, you require 121. Oh, well, that's in. Sets on here. Bullseye. Yes! Game one, two, one, finish! And the third set! And Robson, Robson is turning it on in the odd numbered sets here. Won the first, pegged back in the second, and has just stormed to the third Four set. set. First leg, it's Gary to throw first. Game on. And if he settles down now, he's actually uh, won the right to win the, to uh, win the match on his darts. 97. Can he cope, though, with the pressure of leading from the front, or does he need to produce the ultimate comeback? Oh, See, oh, Scott Waits is quite happy in either situation, I think. He's probably the king of comebacks after that yeah. uh, Grand Slam final. One hundred and twenty. James Wade thought it was all his, and, and Scott Waits he reel off eight legs on the trot, something like that. Well, he, he was eight 0 down, obviously after yeah. that, it was, was fantastic. One hundred and forty. Cracking afternoons viewing. Forty nine. Strange game, nobody's really took control of, of their start. 100. I just, I just wonder if that is, is Gary Robson likes the environment where the pressure isn't necessarily all on him, where he's, he's the slight underdog. It's a single seven, treble 14, Wood leaving 32, he's going to go 20 for top. 41. Gary, you require 132. Banking on Robson missing this, I wonder. He has, he wanted at least the outer ball. This first start. That will leave him his, uh, his favourite double today, 32, if he gets a chance at it. Game shot. Which on this occasion, leg. he doesn't. Scott Waits. Another leg against the dart. Yeah. Yeah. Second leg, it's Scott to throw first. Game on. I think the only leg that's gone with the darts so far. 134. Work it out here. Scott Waits won his opening leg in the first set. Gary Robson won his first leg with the darts 59. in the first set. And since then, I think we've only had a couple more with the darts. Fifty-seven. Ninety-nine. One hundred and forty. A lot of force, isn't there, the, the weights throw. Full extension. On release. 100. Scott, you require 170. Here we go again. 170's on. Where it was. 98. Ooze from the crowd there, Tony, as he missed the second treble 20. And from Sally, her face was a picture uh, when the young Dutchman Christian killed it last night. Six. You can see the wardrobe Scott empty as that went in, that pulls out. Double 18 though. Game Double still counts. And the fourth set. <laughs> Scott Waits. And as it was in the second set, in the fourth, Scott Waits has broken straight back to put Robson under pressure again. Fifth set. First leg. It's Scott to throw first. Game on. And it is all down to this fifth set. I, I don't think I'd want to be starting this one. Not the way this match is going. I'd still want it if I was given the choice. 97. <laughs> Of course, it doesn't, doesn't make a difference because of the bull up anyway, but obviously, uh, if you can put the pressure on by nicking that first leg. One. See if you win it in style. 
At the moment, Waits has, has got the scoring potential, hasn't he? 97.2, even with a 38% double success. 140. Gary Robson, decent average for himself with a 50% checkout statistic. But uh, Waits is, is the one with the big scores. 45. Yeah, it's just that inconsistency with scoring with Gary. Waits here could push that average over 100. 184 in there, very nice indeed. You can see the big scores, three 180s for Scott Waits. Other than that, it's, it's been fairly even. 57. Scott, you require 84. Level 12 now. For a 12 dart leg, and he did win that leg. opening leg of the final Scott set Waits. in a very nice Second style leg, indeed. Looks a different player when he's Game hitting on. them doubles first time. Uh, it's been the difference. When he's had them chances, he's took them. 41. And that's, that's trademark Gary Robson there. He's only thrown three darts, and it's like the world is against him. 123. Coming up next, Dean Wynn Stanley against Tony West. 16. Spoke to both players in the practice room. They are really looking forward to this encounter. But, uh, if Tony West gets going, 16. it will be over in a flash. I don't think we'll see the same performance from Dean though today. I mean, uh, it's very rare you get a quality player having two bad days. As we all say though, wins a win and he's got through and he's got a chance to put it right today. 85. Right, 263 for Gary Robson, so he's got to be a touch careful. That, that's out with a second treble 20. 140. He, even with that deflection there, it's like the world's still against him. Big deflection, yeah. Gary, you require 123. So he is going down for that triple 19. Triple 10 will leave double 18. Single 15, I'm sure, is good enough. But 91. he's got 19 for the double 16. It's been kind to him. And he knows he's going to be back to have three darts of that 32 to make a final leg decider. Looks like she's forgotten to set the video recorder for Emmerdale. Sally going through the motions there as a darts player's wife. Doesn't shout as much as your missus though, Tony. 140. Gary, you require 32. Straight Game in. Shot and the he second goes leg. to Gary double 16 Watson. again and drinks from the well and we are going to the Ladies final leg. Ladies and gentlemen, leg. with the scores two set all and one leg all, both players will now throw for the ball. It'll be Scott to throw for the bullseye first. Who wins this one, then, Tony? That's outside of the 25. Well, after that first doubt, <laughs> Gary. <laughs> just. Only just. <laughs> the second dart is slightly closer. It certainly Third is. and final leg. It's Gary to throw first. Game on. He sorts the men out from the boys, these one leg deciders. It's one of those legs. And the backside starts to 83. squeak. And every single dart counts here. And could be the difference between a place in the semi finals or a bus ride home. 96. <laughs> 59. It's like a penalty shootout at the. End of a long, hard, gruelling 120 minutes of football. 58. Except there's no goalkeepers to deny you. Only your own brilliance or faltering darts. 140. And Robson will be happy so far. Or not, Tony? Uh, well, he's still ahead, and uh, obviously six darts from here could, could win him the match. He does need a big treble. 
97. Got it. Now he's going to have a shot, probably at the bullseye with that finish. I'm sure he'll go 18s. There's a single 18, of course, will still leave the 60. finish on. Thing is, though, Gary he's got six ball. darts now Nine from 1 2 2. If he hits the treble, he'll think about you. Well, there you go. He's played the percentages. He loves that 32. S 82 left. That's 65. why he went for the bullseye to leave his favourite double 16. Be lucky to leave double 16 from there unless he goes for 25 with the first up. But surely 17 times has got seven. to be the way for a place in the semi finals for the first time at the World Masters. Robson has one more dart for it. Oh, 17. and it's gone begging. Scott Uruquan, 94. He's going to go the bullseye route, I'm pretty sure. Straight in to that bullseye former masters runner-up wants double 16 clinical Scott Waits and the match my how he Scott handled Waits. the pressure well and he survived two darts against him to march on to the last four is that a sigh of relief or is it the look of a champion only time will tell but Waits is still in with a shout Scott Waits moves into the semi-finals, Gary Robson bows out. He waits against Adams in the semi-final repeat of the 2008 final in the Masters. Well played both players.